Hey, welcome to another video on our database applications. In this video, I'm going to show you about inner joins and uh, left and right joins. So we're working with a simple database right now that has two tables. We have customers and address. And this is what it looks like. We have customers in one table. Addresses is associated with it with a foreign key called customer underscore ID. So let's go and do some selects on these to see how you would write a join statement. So we're going to go into the SQL tab and start doing some selects just to see if we know what we're doing. So let's try select ID and first name and last name from customers. Okay, so we've got ourselves a real simple uh, select statement. Let's go and it selects everybody. So let's go and edit that again. Let's try a little bit more sophisticated. I'm going to say where on uh, first name like and let's put in a percent sign and our famous letter a so let's see if that works now i'm going to check this retain query box and so it shows me the box up here i don't have to keep coming back to it so the first name there are four people that have the letter a in it not bad okay so we know we got our selections working now what I want to do is show everybody that has an address. So I'm going to select all of these from customers and then I'm going to put in another. So I also want to show the uh, street, state, and zip from our customers as well. So let's check that out on the, uh, so let's add that as well. So we got street, state, and zip. Now it says from customers, let's make this on a separate line. And then I'm going to have to do something called a join. And I'm going to join the uh, addresses. And I have to say on. And then you're going to say, uh, uh, let's see, customers.id is going to equal to. Then the other table is addresses. And the, the, the dot gives us the option for customers ID. OK, let's see what that does. Let's go. Uh-oh. Okay, so I got an error. It says, uh, my SQL said, column ID in field list is ambiguous, which means that both of these uh, tables we have, customers and address, they both have an ID. So I need to now specify that this is about the customers.id. Now the other ones, first name, last name, street, city, and state, those are all going to be um, very specific. They're only in one table. So let's go. This time it worked. So I have a uh, join now. So look at all the different column titles. So I've got all uh, the columns from both tables and I only get two rows. So the only two rows that show up are the two people that are actually have an address. Now we could do a different kind of a join. Let's instead of saying just join, let's say left join. And let's see what that does. We go and now we get a different uh, kind of a set of data. You can see it is included everyone in the left column here, regardless of whether they have an address or not. So it's uh, what do they call it left dominant. So the uh, left side here has to be included. Of course, the opposite of left is right. So let's type in a right join and see what that does. And right join is what we get where the columns that are on the right take precedence. So if there's any data in a right column, it includes the whole thing. So implicitly, if you leave out right or left, it looks like we're just getting a right join. And so we get the same results for right join and just plain old join. So that's a, a great way that we can use to write a join when we want to get everybody that has an address. Now in the next video, we're going to take these uh, select statements and put them into our database service and so we can uh, make it a little bit more sophisticated than the uh, basic uh, operations we've already created. 